Yo, what is going on guys, and welcome back to Spooky Season. This is part two of Resident Evil Zero. If you have not seen part one, make sure to go back and watch that one first, then come on back to this one. We just finished the train mission, and now, without further ado, let's jump straight back into the action with Billy and Becca. Enjoy the video. Yeah, let's find a way out. Oh yeah, the T-Virus 100% got out, man. Alright, um, there's a lot of stuff we left behind on that train. Broken bottle, I don't really know what these- Oh, all our stuff is here! Okay, okay, good, good. I'll keep that in mind. I'm surprised the gas didn't explode <laughs> when the train exploded. Uh, hello? Oh, this sounds like- This- This is so much fun! This is the greatest date of all time. <laughs> let's, let's go strolling- through the sewage. You having a good time, baby girl? <laughs> maybe, maybe we can hold hands and go strolling through the sewage together? <laughs> what the? What is this? The Umbrella Research Center? What? Joe Byron! General Manager, Dr. James Marcus. Oh, oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> Who on earth are those people? She's just a rookie, a member of STARS. Hmm, what about the male? I'm unfamiliar with Attention. him. Attention, mm -hmm. this is Dr. Marcus. Please be silent as we reflect upon our company motto. Obedience breeds discipline. Discipline breeds unity. Unity breeds power. Power is life. <laughs> who are you? It was I who scattered the T-virus in the mansion. <laughs> Needless to say, I contaminated the train, too. What a menace. Revenge on Umbrella. <laughs> what the heck? Who is this guy? <laughs> Freaking menace to society, bro. Revenge on Umbrella. Okay. Does he control the T-Virus? Dr. Marcus? <laughs> Ten years ago, Dr. Marcus was murdered by Umbrella. You helped them, didn't you? <laughs> Or even laughs like a bad guy. Back over here and just see what's popping. Oh my gosh, knights? What the? The knight's swords firmly bar access to the door. All right, well, at least we're not on a confined train anymore. We actually can, like, move around. Oh, a bathroom. Well, there's urinals, so I'm guessing this is the boys' bathroom. Rebecca, get out of here! I gotta do my business! <laughs> I almost pooped my pants several times already! Mix it in a way to where it turns into a healing item. The door is locked, but there doesn't seem to be a keyhole anywhere. The top part is engraved with the image of a clock. Mm, okay. What is this? You cannot carry this item right now? What even is that? Oh! Oh! What is up with those paintings? Oh! Freaking headshot! <laughs> Why did it take him so long to fall down? Ooh, it's quiet. Is this a key card? What is this? I don't know. We'll have Rebecca carry it. Fire motif. When good and evil are brought into balance, a new path will be opened before you. Let me guess, this represents evil. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it worked, it worked. I don't have anything that would represent good, though. Cool. 
crank handle. What was that noise? Oh, those are crows? Alright. Shoot, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them dead. Oh, get friggin' quick scoped. Shoot them again, shoot them again. Shoot, shoot more of them. I don't want to just shoot into nothing. Where are they at? Where are they at? Nice, get friggin' wrecked. Get friggin' wrecked. Notice to all staff, this document is very old, much of the writing is illegible. Regular meetings of the vaccine, research, and infectious agents teams will be held. Both meetings are security level 5 and will be held at the following locations. 1F W operations control room, 2F southeast meeting room. The entry code shall be 815. Thank you. 815 operations control room and... Okay, first floor west operations control room, second floor southeast meeting room. 815 is the code. The kitchen. It's locked. The door is embossed with a fire motif. Various cooking utensils line the back of the counter. This must be the kitchen. Can you not just climb through? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We never went this way. What is down here? I ain't gonna make it here. This is the boiler room. What the heck? I'm guessing that'll do damage. If I go that way. Oh. Yep. <laughs> of course. What does this say? Regulations for trainees, training facility mission. This training facility will raise a new generation of model employees to serve the future of Umbrella Corps. Uh, applying the strictest and most rigorous training standards, this facility will, without regard for gender, race, or creed, will produce only the best candidates to be the future global leaders of Umbrella Corporation. We look forward to the development of your leadership qualities. Discipline, obedience, unity. These three words are the basic principles which govern Umbrella Corporation employees and are to be considered the law of this facility. Keep these words in mind at all times. Devote yourselves to your training and bring honor to yourselves in the corporation. James Marcus, director. I'm guessing this is the answer to a puzzle because it's highlighted green. Look at this. This reminds me of like um, the Templars from Assassin's Creed. Please insert system disk. I, this thing? No? <gasps> Wait, this is new. Did I miss this before? Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, hopefully this... What is this? This is a winch control for a lift. There's a square-shaped hole in the panel. This is where the thing goes. Yep. Oh, finally. Okay. Back in it. Bro, I've been wandering around for so long. <laughs> I've been wandering around forever. You'll need someone to get onto it first. Okay. Billy. Go ahead and get on there, buddy. Yes. It doesn't look like Rebecca can use it. I would rather have Billy go up there just because I don't know. I don't know what's up there. But. Alrighty. Oh, shotgun ammo. Yeah, see, Billy should have gone. Or maybe I should have given the shotgun to um, Rebecca. <laughs> that. Duh, shoot it! Uh, so we're dying. <laughs> so we're dying. What is this? Like a giant cricket? Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> no, no, no. That is not fun at all. <gasps> Jeez, man. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Jeez. All right. How are we doing? Oh, we're fine. Okay. Um. Whoa. What do we have here? This machine has finished winding the chain. It's a machine for winding the chain. Start the machine. No, hang on. I want to explore a little bit before we do anything drastic. The door is now unlocked. 
Is it a shortcut? Please be a shortcut. Please be a shortcut. <gasps> Come on. Okay. Let's go, Becca. All right. We're back together. I hate being apart. <laughs> I have separation anxiety. <laughs> Shotgun time. Boy! Ooh, I like that. What is this? <gasps> There's another gun. Is that a grenade launcher? I guess if I need to... do some explosive... Oh, <laughs> some down here. It's a cage for raising animals. The cage is too heavy to lift. Also, that better not drop. That looks like it could kill me. Hold it. Hold it. What is it? It's a key. Facility key. Okay. I should have kept the grenade launcher. <laughs> I should I should have kept it. Yep. Should have kept it. Oh. <gasps> Billy. Billy, do your thing, Billy. Do your thing, buddy. Shoot it with a grenade launcher. I don't know. All right. <laughs> okay, it's working. Come back. I'm not going to leave the statue because that's a quest item, uh, but I am going to take the grenade launcher. I don't have room for the napalm grenades, though. Dang it. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, Becca. Got to deal with some uh, item management. Got to have efficient inventory management. Okay. Let's go. Let's go kill us a lobster or whatever that was. Lobster centipede thing. What's good? <laughs> uh, don't die. Break it. Did it work? Oh, that does damage. Oh, I thought I killed myself. <laughs> it worked, it worked. She definitely didn't get blown up with it. <laughs> Are you alright? Yes, thank you. No kiss. Um... Alrighty then. So we have zombies. We have mutated animals and insects and crustaceans. I wonder what's causing all this. Oh, I need to <laughs> need to use that. I'm still getting used to that. There we go. There we go. So once the scales are balanced, they are balanced, right? They don't look balanced. <laughs> they don't they don't look balanced. Can I take the wing off the statue? Whoa, double cheeked up. It's like a mystery key or something. Meh. Meh. Turn the key around. Okay. Yeah, it has it, it, it that's fire, bruh. It's inscribed with a fire design. <laughs> Literally, fire design. Okay, it's a good thing I tried it again. Nice. Logic. <laughs> what the? I did not mean to do that, but okay. <laughs> what is this? A button? Oh, there's shotgun ammo over here. Hang on, there's a letter. Assistant Director's Diary, September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does Headquarter find these idiots? <laughs> <laughs> we did get a couple of decent ones, though, so I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will. Practical Al. They really are opposites. And they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since the training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. Hmm. There's a switch here. Flip it. 
Sure. Oh. Turned on the light. Nice. I love light. Wait. There's a thing up there. Oh. That's right. Billy can push stuff. Meh. Grab it. Grab the antler. Oh. Oh. It's not the actual antler. There's just something on the antler. I see shiny. I take shiny. Iron needle. All right. Let's regroup. Roger. Really? I can't use it? I feel like... I could use it to balance out the scale. Yeah. Yep. Whoa, I can see down. Oh, there's a thing there. What is that? How the heck am I supposed to get that? It's like on top of a pillar. <gasps> it's a solidly built clock. The minute hand is missing from the dial. What do you mean? What do you mean I can't use it right now? That's like perfect. I try it again. Please, please. <gasps> yeah. Okay, eight fifteen, right? So five, ten. Yes. Yes! Okay, now those two doors should be unlocked. Yup. Or just the one? No, both of them are unlocked. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> you know you, you know when your brain does the dopamine thing? When, when stuff just works? <laughs> Finally. At last. I can't even see him, but I'm shooting. I'm shooting. Oh, there's a lot of them. You got that, Billy. You got that. Nice. Good job. Microfilm B. Okay. So now that we don't have the needle anymore, she should be able to hold that. Yep. So she has microfilm A and microfilm B. Still have yet to find the projector. Aha! The projector is here. Becca, that's all you. There's a microfilm projector. If you had some microfilm, you could view its contents on the screen. Well, what do you know? I have both. <laughs> do I have to, like, stand directly behind it? <sighs> the camera angle. Okay. You don't need to use this right now. You're capping. Use it! Okay. <laughs> Insert uh, B as well. Might as well, right? We have both. What is this? Something written on top of the picture of the seats. What? Take the MO disc. Security system version, don't carry out. I'm carrying it out of here. <laughs> okay, so that'll correspond to something. An image resulting from overlaying microfilms A and B. Oh, there's a thing I can insert here, right? I remember this. Yes! Yes! Insert the thing. Yes! Now loading. Complete. Please input code 2D. There's no input device nearby. Okay, yeah, yeah. I know what to do, I know what to do. Not far left, middle left. Okay. So, two, D. Yes. Big brain, huge brain, expanding brain. I'll take it. We got three new doors to explore. How much you want to bet when the scales balance out, it opens up the picture of uh, the director. Because it, it's, it's a big enough picture to where it could be a door. I was thinking about that earlier. Or if I can lit that boy up. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, this is a giant chessboard. Can I push the pieces? I'm probably going to have to. <laughs> to unlock another door or something. It's a chessboard. The game appears to have ended in checkmate. 
Do I have to mirror the pieces on the checkboard or what? Okay, hang on. I have to do some some maneuvers here. Hang on. Oh! No, no, no. Get out. Get out. It's a trap. It's a trap. Well, that's not good. Poison! Uh, I am taking no chances! Wait, this is different. This is a different room. Blue. Get over here. Use it. Danger. <gasps> well, I just made my condition worse. Alright, so we're both danger. And I wasted a bunch of resources. Oh, first aid spray. <gasps> it's like a gift from heaven. <laughs> uh, when we reopen the facilities, we will have to develop a system for dealing with these chemicals. Something is scrawled on the back of the note. Red plus blue is sulfuric acid. Green plus red is stripping agent. Well, that's great, but I used all the resources. <laughs> I literally used them all. That should match up. Yep, matches up. Evil. It's a book called Evil. Oh, well, yeah, let's read it. Let's read the book of evil. Sure. Marcus's Diary 1, December 4th. We finally did it. The new virus. We have called it the Progenitor. <laughs> wow, what a name. What a name. Spencer keeps asking me to be the director of his new training facility, but maybe I can turn this into my advantage. I need a special facility to properly explore all this virus's secrets. September 19th. At last. I've discovered a way to build a new virus type with Progenitor as a base. Mixing it with leech DNA was the breakthrough I needed. So he created the T-Virus. Wow, this is such a great virus. <laughs> Definitely won't have any negative repercussions in the future. <laughs> October 23rd. It's no good. I can't hope for real progress experimenting on mere rodents. Only humans can be a proper mem mammalian subject for the experiments. January 13th. At last, they are ready. My wonderful leeches. <laughs> Those of low intelligence. They will never have the privilege of tasting this sense of joy and satisfaction. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, finally, I can move against Spencer. Soon I will control everything. The devices I set to protect my work have been disturbed. It appears someone came looking for tea and the leeches. Fool! Perhaps I should have William and Albert smoke out those pests. Oh, Will and Al. Those two are the only ones I trust, apart from my beloved leeches, of course. <laughs> this guy has no social life. <laughs> this guy needs some friends, for real. Maybe I put the Book of Evil on the scale. Whoa, what is that? Is that a telescope? Or a laser? <laughs> what, what the heck is this? There's a message carved into the control panel. The three fundamental principles of the Umbrella. Corporation. Umbrella Corporation. Uh, well, we know what that is, don't we? I'm guessing this is one of them. No? Discipline, obedience, unity. Yes. So we know what they are. Discipline, obedience... Unity. D-O-U. Oh, we're outside. <gasps> we saw one of the things on the pillars. Yes, that's a book on the pillars. There's something there, but you can't see it well from here. Okay, maybe there's something I can push. Wow, we're outside. Look at that. What is this? There's no response. It looks like it's not getting any power. Oh, great. You... Yeah. That's an elevator, I'm guessing. Can we just leave? <laughs> can we go home? Ah. The bridge has collapsed in the middle. Beyond the precipice, you see nothing but pitch darkness. Dang it. Why can't anything ever be easy? And then I put the book on the right. Oh, come on. Open the book. E what? 
There's something inside. The black wing. Oh, that's right, because the, the dark figure has one wing. But... Wait, what? Okay, so I got rid of the book. I keep the wing. I'm confused, though, because this, w without the other wing, was already m heavier, right? Yeah. Now it's too- now it's even heavier. Look at this, bro. Look at that. The- <laughs> It's even more unbalanced now. I thought that would maybe do something. Two thousand years later. You can change your character's costume. <laughs> Look at him, bruh. <laughs> He's got glasses on and everything. Oh, that's funny. I'm so lost. I'm out here, like, trying to light each one of these lanterns to see if something happens. Or <laughs> and then I figure out I can change my costume. It's pretty cool. Can Rebecca change her costume? Does she have any alternate costumes? Uh, uh, this fits the vibe, I think. This fits the vibe. Well, she got a tattoo on. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's keep going. Yeah, wasn't this area, like, unfinished before? Like, I didn't explore everything here. Please, bro, please. There's a door here. It's locked. So how do I unlock it? Bro. Oh. My. Gosh, I almost just dropped my controller. <laughs> Take out all my anger on you! Oh my gosh. <sighs> Finally some progression. It's all you, Becca. Something here. Please be more than just... Okay, I can climb up. Oh, I can push it? Wait, what is this? I can push the bookcase? Uh, you might want to move out of the way. <laughs> move, move out the way, Becca. Alright. Push it. Oh, oh. <gasps> A book. A book. Oh my gosh, finally. <laughs> Give me, give me, give me. The Book of Good. Okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Finally, some progression. I mean, this wasn't what I was looking for, but I'll take it. There wouldn't happen to be an elevator power source in here, would there? <laughs> Can I examine? Or use? Can I read it? I could read the Book of Evil. How do I read the Book of... An elegantly bound book titled Good. It seems unusually heavy for a book of its thick... Is there something in here? An elevator power source? Uh, oh, oh, wings, wings. Okay, nice. That should balance out the scales, then. Well, that took me so long. I got so desperate to the point where I was going to each one of those, like, lanterns in the main area trying to light it with the lighter. <laughs> I'm just glad this one worked. Like, I thought I was just being a crazy person, but then I saw the painting. I was like, wait, there's a connection, and I did it, and it worked. Sometimes being insane isn't so sane. Sometimes being so insane isn't so insane. That's what I meant to say. Now combine them. There we go. Now... It makes sense. The angel and the demon. That should balance out the scales. Finally. Holy crap, that took forever. <gasps> I was right! I was right. I was like, that painting is way too big for it to not be a door. I was right, man. I was right. The... Uh, uh... You know what? It's not even worth... It's not even worth. <laughs> it's not... I, I was like, over here trying to remember which hallway it was in. I, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Let's just do the main objective. <laughs>